Bridging the gap between the Army and industry in the U.S., that's the goal of AUSA. Yeah, and our next guest here tonight is here to talk more about that. We want to welcome Major General Paul Mock, a retired U.S. Army Reserve officer, as well as former LAPD officer. Mm -hmm. You like to go by Paul and not General, correct? Paul is great. All right. <laughs> well, first off, for those of us who are not familiar with the organization, explain what AUSA is. Association of the United States Army is uh, an organization of about 100,000 with 120 chapters worldwide and we're in the greater Los Angeles chapter here in Los Angeles and we support our veterans uh, reserve component and active duty forces sure. here in the local area what would you say are the biggest issues and challenges that veterans and their families are facing today well there's a number of them um, and you had an earlier guest on that really really hit yeah, it home he's on, such a great guy oh that was that was a powerful interview um, but what we see is a lot of unemployment financial issues that are really burdening families. Um, a lot of our soldiers are reserve component soldiers here in the Los Angeles area. And as they come and go for mobilizations, they find um, steady employment to be very difficult and sporadic. So if there's somebody out there that returned from Iran or Iraq or uh, Afghanistan, Afghanistan, all these different places, now, yeah. how do they contact you? And, and what, are, what are they should be looking for when they come to your door? Well, we, we reach out through many of the units, uh, the family support organizations and the unit leadership. Most of them know who we are, but if they don't, AUSAGLAC.org is an easy way to get in, in, in touch with us. And it's a very simple process. And what we do is we try to reach out and turn financial assistance around in other contacts within 24 hours. That quickly? Mm -hmm. Yes, many times. Yeah. Well. And you know, over the years, would you say that services for veterans, are they getting better or worse? Um, well, there's more need, and there's more identification of what the need is. Um, it's hard to quantify this better or worse. The Veterans Administration that we see today is not what we saw or have uh, the notoriety of years past. Very, very professional organization. Uh, you look at Long Beach VA with their spinal cord injury center, their, their blind sure. rehab center. Uh, these are world-class organizations. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of, of our soldiers and veterans that come back with psychological and emotional issues that are, that are hard to get at. Tell us about this one young man that you've been helping, Justin. What's Just, his story? Justin Crabb is a Rancho Cucamonga resident. And in August 2011, uh, Justin was serving with the Marine Corps in Afghanistan right. and stepped on an IED and lost both legs oh. uh, and a number of fingers. And I had the occasion to be back at Walter Reed Hospital and visited Justin and met his mother, Marine, and his father, Cliff, back at Walter Reed. Uh, Justin, in fact, came back uh, yesterday, got back home to Rancho Cucamonga. But what's compelling about that story is the family support that Justin has received as well, as well as the overwhelming community support out of uh, Rancho Cucamonga. Sure. Not only are, is it the, the physical and mental rehab these guys have to go through, but also their homes have to be refitted because they've now become handicapped. Where can people turn to as far as getting money to, to remodel their homes so they can be handicapped and live in their homes? Um, we helped a Marine, uh, who's a Marine Corps veteran just the other day in Compton who had a home being rehabbed and we made it a fifteen hundred dollar on the spot uh, donation but that rehab project for his house was about an eighty thousand dollar project yep. and that was through got your six and 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 in a, another couple of organizations. Right, uh, and we did put up uh, the email for your organization of course we'll have all your information at ktlate.com that's well, where people can great. find out Paul more Mark, about you. We appreciate thank it. You. Okay, thank, thank you, you for so much for talking to veterans. Appreciate it.